inequalities. Inequalities are a topic you studied at GCSE, but maybe not to the degree that you will do at A level. Now, remember when you're solving an inequality, all you have to think about this as being is a little bit like an equal sign. So what you do to one side, you do to the other. So linear inequalities, here's a question we're going to solve. So instead of thinking of this as an inequality sign where this side is less than or equal to this side, then you're almost thinking about solving the question 4x plus 7 equals 7x minus 11, which you've done a lot of at GCSE. So remember, all you do now is you think, well, I'll leave the highest amount of x where it is, so the 7x, and I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. If I do that, I'm then left with 0x here, but I'm left with 7, less than or equal to 3x minus 11. Now, next step is to add 11 to both sides. If I do that, I'm left with 18 is less than or equal to 3x and then you divide through by 3 so less than or equal to 6 so the value of x that works in this inequality is any value less than or equal to 6 right another example this time we're going to look at solving a quadratic inequality and I don't think you've done this at all at GCSE so Solve x squared minus 3x minus 40 is less than 0. So we're going to factorise here to find two solutions of x that make this equal to 0. So we're going to have x and x. Now, because we've got a minus 40, we know that one of them is going to be positive, one's going to be negative. Now, we need to write down the factors of 40. So Factors of 40 are 5 and 8, 1 and 40, 2 and 20. Right, and we want to make minus 3. So the only one that works here from what we've wrote is 5 take away 3, which is, uh, sorry, 5 take away 8, which is minus 3. So 5 minus 8 is less than 0. So this means that our two solutions are going to be x equals minus 5 and x equals minus 8, x equals 8 because we're looking for what value makes this bracket 0 which is minus 5 and what value makes that bracket 0 which is 8. Now we've not quite finished this question because we're looking for this where it's less than 0. Now what we need to do in this situation is we need to draw a quick sketch for this graph. Now we know but these two values we've just found are also the roots where, it, where our quadratic crosses the x-axis. So, let's just draw a quick sketch of our graph. So we've got our y-axis, our x-axis. Now, this is going to go through at 5, minus 5, and this side, 8. And we also know it goes all the way down here through minus 40. And it's going to look like this, something like this. Right, now we're looking for where this is less than zero. So less than zero is this section here. This section here. So we're looking for values of x that are greater than minus five, but less than eight. So this is written as we're looking for x greater than minus five but less than 8. And that is the inequality that satisfies our question given. So when you've got a, a quadratic inequality, it's a very good idea to quickly sketch your graph so you can see which section of the graph works. Because we're looking for less than 0, which is this part. If we were asked for more than 0, we'd be looking at this section here which means we'd have a different inequality, we'd have numbers less than minus 5 and greater than 8.